Good morning, mathematicians. Today we're going to divide by using um, the partial quotient algorithm. And by doing that, we're going to do two digit divisors instead of the one. So we're going to be doing the same kind of steps, but we're going to be working with these two digits, 23, to work through how many times 23 can go into 357. So just like before, we're going to place a line going straight down. And when it does, we need to think about how many times 23 can go into 357 without going over. Well, again, I like to work with those friendly numbers. So I'm going to start off by taking 23 and I'm going to multiply it by 10 because I know that 10 times 23 is 230, which lets me know that it's way smaller than 357. So I'm going to put my 10 over to the right side and I'm going to put 230 and I'm going to subtract it. When I do that, I end up getting 127. I do not need to borrow because all of the numbers are smaller on the bottom. Now I have a new digit and I have to think to myself, well, 10 is not going to work because 10 times 23 is 230. So that's much too big. So I'm going to have to bring it down. Well, the thing that I'm gonna use is my two right here. It's a little tip for you. I'm gonna use that two and then I'm gonna take a look at the first two digits. 2 times what could be close to 12 without going over? Well, I know 6 times 2 equals 12, but I'm thinking that I may need to bring it down one uh, number because I think that it would go over if I multiplied it. So I'm going to go to 23. I'll try it. Let's try 6. When I do that, I get 18. Six, six times three is 18, carry my one. And six times two is 12, plus one is 13. So I was correct. With some borrow, or with some multiplication pieces to it, it makes the number a little bit higher. So I definitely know five is going to work. So I'm gonna put five over to the side. And I know that 23, we'll figure that out, times five is 15 there. Carry my one, ah, 111. So that was gonna work perfectly. So I'm gonna place 100, or 115 and I'm gonna subtract that. And when I do that subtraction, five from seven is two, one from two is one, which leaves, it, we, leaves me with 12. 12 is smaller than 23, so I know that that is absolutely correct with my remainder. So I'm gonna take these two numbers to the side, I'm gonna add them, I get 15, and I'm gonna do remainder, which is 12. Let's try another one. Let's try 758, and I'm gonna divide that by um, 63. All right, just like before, we're gonna bring that number all the way down. And again, I'm gonna use that friendly number of 10 because I know 10 times 63, just add that zero on. So it's 630, perfect. So I'm gonna subtract, zero from eight is eight, three from five is two, and six from seven is one, 128. All right, I'm gonna use the same strategy that I did before by taking the first number in the divisor and the two numbers in the uh, dividend to think about what number I could multiply that six to get close to 12. And this is just a strategy so I'm not multiplying so many different numbers. I can kind of narrow my, my thinking to a number that's really going to fit. So I know that six times two is 12. So let's just try it out and see if 63 times two would work. So two times three is six and two times six is 12. Ah, perfect, that does work. So I'm gonna place a two over to the side and two times 63 was 126, which gives us a remainder of two. Two is definitely smaller than my 63, so I know that that's a good remainder. So 10 plus two is 12, remainder two. My answer for partial quotient division. Let's try the number 743 and let's divide that by 60, 